Okay, y'all. Uh, this may or may not be the last video I do. Um, or excuse me, this may or may not be the last video I post uh, on YouTube for the rest of the month. Uh, just because, um, actually I start classes back up again tomorrow and I'm doing another uh, schedule of 20 credit hours. So I'm going to be very busy and I don't know if I'll be able to actually get time to sit down and edit anything or basically talk at a camera. Uh, for about 15 minutes at a time. So, instead of going through a normal rant about how things are going, uh, I'm basically going to show you guys a quick update of what I'm planning to get together for Ohio. Here's my first costume. This is Emil. Uh, it's from the video game Nier, uh, which is a Squeenix game, but it wasn't a Final Fantasy title, so nobody really cared about it. Uh, the basic structure is made out of uh, this is all paper mache out of an 18 inch ball. This is more of the Crayola model magic just to build up the eyes, ridges, and make it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, skeleton like. Uh, I have yet to paint in a teeth set for the mouth. Uh, this is all just window screening. Uh, costumers actually use this stuff to, um, it's a plastic material, basically, it's an aperture grill that you're able to see through. And it's really good for uh, both mascot eyes and mouth pieces and that. <sighs> and I'll, I am able to see in that directly, and you can't via vice versa. Uh, tapestry design is actually upholstery fabric that I got from Joanne Fabrics. That cost an arm and a leg, but I really love the design of it. It looks very old, and then we, uh, Princess Marley actually helped me uh, tatter it up. And it looks pretty decent when it comes all together. I think the only issues with it is going to be hearing because this ball basically adds an echo effect to everything that's in it, but then you know, all the stippling and the weathering, and that looks all nice. Uh, really all I have to do is just glue this last piece down at the tie and paint in the teeth, and he'll be all done. It's very creepy. I actually ran out of time of doing the jaw rig uh, just because I was taking on so many classes, but again, like uh, Tau Kaka with uh, 2010 and 2011. Uh, I plan on doing this next year too, so hopefully uh, Emil will get an upgrade between then, uh, now and then. Okay. Back down into the abyss of my basement. Uh, this is Napa's armor. It's a little bit loud in here just because the dehumidifier is going. And this is currently stinking up my basement because I put a layer of white glue on it. Yeah, that's basically just to keep everything in a solidified form. I'll show you care where the runs a little bit. Uh, but this was made out of standard density foam for the top and the arm pieces. Underneath is all lined and covered with just straight muslin. Uh, bottom plates are yoga mat. And I did layers of crafter's mesh on the top of these shoulders and the front and back plates just to make sure it would stay uniform. The front of this is uh, foamies. And the back plates are covered in the plaster cloth. It did work out pretty well. Uh, the one reason I actually did get the shadow out of here, uh, the plaster cloth and the um, uh, white glue over top of it was the uh, I was starting to bend it different ways when I was actually going through and sanding everything down this afternoon. And the plaster started cracking in places, and I don't want that to happen when Dave is actually working. Uh, so, the gallon of the school glue is probably the best thing I've ever purchased in my life. Uh, it basically adds an extra finish uh, to the foam, and it makes it able to bend without too much cracking involved. So, I'm going to try doing this all in spray paint, and then just black paint and blue highlights on top, and put the lines in, and Napa will be done. Uh, other things that are happening in the works right now, the guy who helped me with uh, my Tau Kaka lights, the uh, changing LED ones, if you've seen me at uh, OhioCon 2010 and 11 again, uh, was the one with the retractable claws and the orange and uh, red LED light eyes that change between two expressions. Uh, he's actually helping us get together a scouter, and I'll definitely post pics of that uh, on either my Facebook or definitely my DevArt, uh, just so that's an update. Won't be making a video on how it actually works till after the fact because uh, that's I basically uh, commissioned him and he's going to take about a week with it. Uh, so that's going to be into school. All right. 
Okay, uh, second costume, this is Vegeta, or excuse me, my Vegeta wig. It's currently just sitting under cellophane wrap and upside down again because I sprayed another coating of uh, hairspray just to be sure the spikes were actually going to stay put. This is how I styled it, by the way, upside down and cramped into a lamp. That way uh, gravity was actually able to help these spikes dry in a standard position. And that was after about all of that can of Aquanet, which uh, was why I mostly got sick. But yeah, um, this cosplay is basically going to be my only costume, uh, excuse me, my only closet cosplay, just because I ran out of time and I didn't want to make my own, myself a suit of armor, just because it was ridiculous what I had to do with Nappa. Uh, so I'm basically going to do street clothes, uh, the black tank top, a black jacket and pants and shoes because I'm feeling lazy. Don't knock it. I try so hard with my costumes and I feel like I deserve at least one uh, cosplay that I can just do on my own and not have to worry about anything. Plus I'm gonna be David's handler as Nappa, so uh, just to make sure that neither of our costumes are falling apart, I'll be watching out for him. Uh, the convention since this is his first year uh, at any convention really so he wanted to go and I made him his armor it's like yeah we'll check that out last but not least I have Vanitas uh, I'm still debating whether or not which version I want to go with either the helmet one which was a massive hit at Yomacon or doing restyling my wig a little bit and actually getting the spikes right with my wig um I'm actually leaning a little bit towards doing the wig because unlike the helmet I'm able to see and just having that extra zone of comfort and having a line of sight actually does help a lot with costumes. And with being in a meal the, for most of the whole weekend, this is going to be my major costume. Uh, because um, we have such a big near group uh, with us going. We have uh, my boyfriend uh, Taldor is going to be uh, near, or Papa near, excuse me, not uh, the younger version whose armor does not work at all. Uh, Princess Marley is going to be Kayane. Uh, that's, I um, actually made both of her swords earlier this month. And then I'm going to be a meal. Uh, our friend Aki is going to be uh, Yona, which is uh, Nier's daughter. And then we're doing, uh, two of our other friends are being the twins Davola, and I forget the other one's name. I haven't gotten that far through the game, actually, which is terrible of me, but I wanted to do that costume so badly. I don't know. I just... It worked out so well. This is the first mascot, well, quote-unquote, actual mascot costume. It's like, yay! But anywho, um, debating between the two, I'd like to do, uh, the wig version of Vaughn. But, uh, especially since it's not in the middle of summer and the gel will probably not, uh, deflate the wig as much. Uh, but with the helmet, uh, this is such a piece of work and I did get a lot of really good feedback uh, from this costume up in Detroit, so I might just take that up again. It's really up in the air, and that is very dusty. See, this is what I get for standing in my room. Anywho, oh yeah, uh, leave comments below. Uh, tell me what you're gonna actually be dressing up as Ohio at Ohio if you're going. Uh, I'm thinking about going down Thursday night. Uh, that way we can get all of uh, Taldor's uh, tattoo designs done on his arm and back in advance. And I have a three-day pass. Uh, OhioCon and the Hyatt is my stomping ground. I've been doing this for, this is my sixth year now. And I am fiendishly excited. Uh, hope to see you guys there. Ciao.